What's up YouTube, I'm back, so the final season of Attack on Titan is finally here. A crunch roll crashed, so I couldn't watch the episode earlier today because it crashed. There was too much people hyped for the final season of Attack on Titan, but it was a great episode from beginning to end. Obviously, they said that it's gonna be a 16 episode season, but because the manga isn't even finished yet, it's gonna be probably more, you know, there's probably gonna be a part 2 of this season, so I can't wait for that, but man, it was a great episode, and the way that it started was amazing, it, there was just that kid named Falco in the middle of a battlefield, just, you know, talking to the birds, saying to get away because it's not safe where they are, you know, so... I just thought that the way that the episode started was great. Falco was then saved by his older brother Colt and he's actually the one that is going to inherit the Beast Titan from Zeke because we all know that the Titan Shifters only have a 30 year lifespan so before they actually die they're gonna get eaten by somebody else and the Eldian because only the Eldians can actually transform into uh, titans you know so that was quite interesting because uh, this episode was basically a war between the end of a war between the Marleans and the mid east alliance so when they said that it made me think of the middle east you know in our, our world but anyway yeah that was great because the Marleans are in control of the Eldians so basically the Eldians fight fights for them you know so that was quite interesting that uh, some of the kids that we met are actually, you know, candidates to become Titans later on. So one of the girls, her name was Gabby, and she's actually wants to become the narrator of uh, the Armored Titan. Reiner has the Armored Titan right now, so that was quite interesting. So they're basically picking kids from uh, the Eldians and training them and indoctrinating them to their laws, to their philosophy, and then picking them the best warriors to become, you know, a titan, which is interesting. We kind of already knew that because of season 3 and what uh, Eren and Mikasa found in the basement, you know, so we learned that last season, but, you know, it's kind of interesting that they're in camps, you know, the Eldians are in camps, kind of like uh, the Jewish people were in camps when the Nazis were reigning war you know in from 1939 to 1945 so that was kind of interesting but something that we need to talk about actually is the titans especially the titan shifter so this titan right here i don't know the name of the titan but it's pretty cool man his face is basically bones you know and then he has a beard and everything like that he's pretty cool he's pretty fast and quick and agile you know so he's a pretty cool titan but something that i didn't like about this week's episode and i don't know if it's gonna be like that for the rest of the season is that the titans the titan shifters actually are kind of cgi compared to the other season and i know uh, this season is not by Wit Studio, it's by MAPPA, so the animation crew, I'm guessing, is a little bit different, and the way that they do things is different, so the way that, like, the Armored Titan, or the, the, the Cart Titan, or any other Titan shifters, like the Beast Titan, are moving is, is different, you know, because it's, it's, it's made differently by the animators, which... I guess I'm gonna get used to but right now I don't really like it you know the CGI thing and anime is not really my thing but I guess uh, it will get better I, I, I don't know anyway something else that we need to talk about is that girl that we met with the other kids her name is Gabby and she's pretty interesting because it seems like she's the best of her class you know she's the best warrior and she wants to become the next armored titan we all know that the armored titan right now is reiner and something that i find interesting about her is that she's a pretty cocky one and she really wants to help the eldians because the way that she's been taught in the Malians government is that the eldians are evil or, or that the eldians are the reason that the world is the way it is you know so she's been indoctrinated a lot and she doesn't really know what's going on you know because of the way that she was taught 
uh, because of the Marlians, you know, she, so she thinks that the Eldians, especially in Paradise Island where Aaron and Mikasa and the others are, she thinks that they're actually bad people, you know, so her goal is basically to show that the Eldians are actually good people and then to destroy uh, the, uh, the people on Paradise Island, you know, because that's what she's been taught. So I thought it was pretty cool that they showed that because we learned about that in the last season about how the Eldians are perceived and how the Marlians are perceived, you know. We don't know the real story, you know. We don't know if the Eldians were actually bad or if the Marlians are actually bad, you know. We don't know who is good and we don't know who is bad. So I thought that was pretty cool that they showed that because they're just kids and that's how she's thinking right now you know she thinks that Eldians are evil and Marlians are good you know so I thought that was pretty well done she also destroyed uh, armored train you know by playing basically victim you know like she was a civilian and she just threw some bombs under that train so that it could be destroyed you know because that train was made specifically for titans and for titans shifters so in that war actually the titans aren't that much stronger than the enemy you know because the way that the technology has evolved they can actually fight against titan and titan shifters which is interesting because we saw reiner later in that episode get hurt by you know bullets and artilleries you know so we're gonna talk about it a little bit later but it was quite interesting to see that um, there's actually something that can kill a titan pretty easily we saw it in last season where they started to make a technology advancement you know in paradise island and they started to be able to fight against the armored titan and the colossal titan and everything like that you know so that was interesting and then in this week's episode we saw how at, in, in, on the other side of the sea how the technology has advanced even more and how they can fight titans you know so i thought that was quite interesting i really like uh, reiner's new character design you know he's a little bit different he seems a little bit older he has not a beard but a start of a beard his hair is a little bit different you know and his look his face looks a little bit different like he saw a lot of things a lot of bad things happens you know so i really like his new character design and then zeke it seems like his hair is a little bit shorter and his beard is a little bit different maybe i'm tripping but i really like their new character design you know it's pretty cool but while they were in that kind of not it seems like it was a plane but while they were in that plane there were a lot of people and these people were eldians and you know and they were they couldn't really move because they were res restrained you know you know and when i saw their face they actually looked like titans you know and then they got <laughs> basically pushed out of the plane and what we saw is zeke scream and then transform them into titans you know which was incredible and it's a pretty good plan you know because they were just thrown out the plane and then zeke transformed them so that they could destroy everything that was in that city of that midis alliance city you know which was amazing man just seeing these titans <laughs> you know being thrown out of the plane like that was something crazy but it was a great plan then we saw reiner get out of the plane and transform and that's when i really saw how you know the cgi for the titan shifters was it, it, it wasn't my favorite thing of the episode you know it was it was way different than any other season of attack and titan that we've seen so far i'm wondering if it's because it's mappa that is doing the animation that it's like that or maybe it's because they need uh, the titans to move a, a lot more in this season you know in season four in the final season of attack and titan maybe there's some things that they can't really do with normal animation that they're doing with that that cgi you know maybe uh, that's just what i'm thinking earlier in the review i said that the armored titan and the other titan shifters were a lot more vulnerable in this war than they have been in previous wars you know because of how the technology has advanced and just seeing reiner in his armored titan form even with his armor get pierced by bullets you know was 
crazy because that's the first time that we've seen something like that happen we've seen that happen in last week uh, in last season a little bit but it was it wasn't as advanced as right now now he's just getting you know destroyed by these bullets that have been created for the titans you know so that was incredible to see he kind of almost died then you know that titan with the the bones on his face you know kind of saved him which was interesting and then we also saw uh, zeke transform into his beast titan form to finally destroy the the, the rest of the mid east alliance you know so then they surrendered and they signed a treaty or something like that you know so that's kind of crazy that now the titans are actually vulnerable so they're not as powerful to other people as they've been in uh, past seasons because of how the technology has advanced which like i said it's, it's crazy man because this season aaron is a titan armin is a titan but they're they, they're not gonna be as powerful against these other people on the other side of the sea you know so that's gonna be interesting to see how the titans fight against the marleans how they fight against the other nations on the other sides of the sea you know so i just can't wait to see what's coming next for uh, the final season of attack on titan it's been a really good first episode for the first uh for uh, the final season of attack on titan it was great obviously the animation i thought was amazing mappa has been doing a lot of things uh this year you know so i, I trust them but the the titan the titan shifters is, is the only thing that i really didn't like if there's some things that i forgot to talk about let me know in the comments down below but like i said it was a great episode let me know what you thought about this week's episode in the comments down below let me know what you think is gonna happen next at the end of the episode we follow this dude right there i already know who he is because of the key visuals and i've read a little bit of the manga you know so i actually know who that is i'm not gonna spoil it for you guys but let me know in the comments down below who you think that is you know so yeah man great first episode for the final season of attack on titan i will do reviews for for the entirety of the season on sunday so stay tuned for that obviously they said it's a 16 episode season but there will probably be a part two or a movie for the rest of what's coming because the manga isn't even finished yet so we'll have to see but like i said attack on titan i will review it every sunday so subscribe for I also do other anime related things like Jujutsu Kaisen reviews on Fridays, I do One Piece reviews on Saturdays and then I do both Naruto Ninja Generation reviews on Sunday mornings so stay tuned for all of that. I will also do reviews for the Promised Neverland and the Doctor Stone uh, series in January because both season 2 for the series are coming back in a month so stay tuned for that and subscribe it will be great. Um, my bad if the review for this week's Attack on Titan is a little bit late, but because of how hype everybody was, the Crunchyroll app and site I think have been crashed, so I had to wait a little bit. But yeah, man, it was uh, great. <laughs> it was great, man. So I didn't really mind that I had to wait for this GOAT series. One last thing that I wanted to talk about was the new opening and ending because there was it was polarizing, you know, on Twitter, especially because uh, the opening was OK. You know, it was probably the weakest opening of them all. And I'm saying that when I said that the first opening of the third season was weak, then I actually appreciated it. It was pretty good. But this opening for season four of Attack on Titan was pretty weak in my opinion. You know, even the visuals weren't that great in my opinion. But yeah, man, the ending was a lot better. I actually liked it. But yeah, that's the only thing that I wanted to say before, you know, uh, I actually and did this review and follow me at anime specialist on twitter and instagram man so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video anime specialist out peace